Well, it's a beautiful day the Lord has made and you know how to get into his presence with praise and thanksgiving in our heart. So let's talk to our Heavenly Father. Father, we thank you for another beautiful day that you have made. We exalt you because we know you are right here with us and you are here to bless us today. Lord, we pray that you give us a heart of thanksgiving. Help us to participate in the praise and worship session. Help us to also listen to your word and help us not just to be hearers of your word, but to be doers. Thank you because you are in charge of this online service today. To you be all the glory and praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Enjoy the rest of the service. nugget and I hope you pay attention and say along with me. Our topic for this week is bathroom manners. So let's go right into it. Number one, I don't keep the tap running. What be said? Okay, now number two, I don't play in the bathroom. It's not a playground. If the floor is wet, I could fall. Great. Number three. I brush my teeth and my tongue and remember to clean the sink or where I brush. I always clean my mat. Great. Now, number four. I always close the toothpaste and wash my toothbrush. Great. Number five. I don't wait until I'm badly pressed to use the toilet or could mess myself up. Number six. I always wash my hands with water and soap after using the toilet. If there is no soap, I ask my mom for some. Great. Always remember that the nugget for this week is on your royal scroll. Go through it always and be sure to do them. Hi 
Hey Royal, it's time for the truth. Yes, God's word is the truth. Now, do you know that when I was growing up, there were no cell phones, no video games, no internet, no disposable diapers, pampers, hoggies, etc. No Indomie. And several other things. Yeah. All of these things have been added to the world because some persons decided to use their creativity. Our topic today says on Bob. Yes, our topic for today is on top. What does unbox mean? Another word for unbox is unpack, empty, unwrap, offload, or unveil. And so our message for you today is to let you know that you came wired from heaven with so much stuff and that you are not supposed to return to your maker without offloading. You should unbox and in doing so, do it to glorify God who gave them to you. Um, but you say, I'm still very young. That is why we are telling you now. Many did not know till they were too old to do anything about it. And there are those who never knew and died with their gift in them. One person got unboxed in the Bible and who made God famous was King David. Indeed, he is still known for his creativity. Several areas, including music, poetry, leadership. As a young boy, he was a shepherd boy, harpist, and singer. As a musician, David is said to have played the harp skillfully and at the time was invited to play for King Saul to soothe his troubled mind. King David was also a skilled poet and his poetry can be found throughout the book of Psalms. He was so talented that he used his gifts of poetry to praise, worship, and express his faith in God. When he was happy, he praised God. When he was sad, hurt, and angry, he still wrote songs. In fact, many of the biblical psalms are attributed to David, such as Psalm 23 and Psalm 51. At certain times in his life, he even exhibited the gift of prophecy and wrote poems about his revelations of the light of the Lord Jesus Christ. All these awesome gifts notwithstanding, do you know the gifts that turned his life around? Can you guess? Let's find out from the Bible. Our Bible reading is taken from 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 38 to 40, and then 48 to 51. Verse 38, Then Saul gave David his own armor, a bronze helmet and a coat of mail. David put it on, strapped 
the sword over it and took a step or two to see what it was like. For he had never worn such things before. I can't go in these, he protested to Saul. I'm not used to them. So David took them off again. He picked up five smooth stones from a stream and put them into his shepherd's bag. Then armed only with his shepherd's staff and sling, he started across the valley to fight the Philistine. Verse 48 As Goliath moved closer to attack, David quickly ran out to meet him. Reaching into his shepherd's bag and taking out a stone, he hauled it with his sling and hit the Philistine in the forehead. The stones sank in and Goliath stumbled and fell face down on the ground. So David triumphed over the Philistine with only a sling and a stone, for he had no sword. Then David ran over and pulled Goliath's sword from its shed. David used it to kill him and cut off his head. Did you guess the gift that turned David's life around? It was the gift of using the slingshot or catapult, a gift he developed as a young boy while he was taking care of his father's ship. What does that tell you? It means all the gifts you have are useful and should be developed. I'm sure while David was perfecting his shots at birds and even fruits in the tree, as a shepherd boy, he never knew that a day will come when he will use it to win a great battle. And so, dear child, do not ignore or despise the gifts you have. God gave them to you because he knows you need them. Now here are some truths you must always remember. Number one, God has blessed you with gifts and talents. Use them for his glory. Number two, as much as possible, develop all the gifts you have. Do not despise any gifts you have, for all of them are useful. Number three, like God, we must use our talents and abilities we have been given to make the world a better place. And now to our home play for the week. Number one. Have you been able to identify at least one of your talents or special abilities? And what can you do to begin to unbox it? Number two. What would you like to add to the world? Hmm. Think about it and pray about it. And now to our memory verse. It's taken from 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 10, the contemporary English version. And it says, Each of you has been blessed with one of God's many wonderful gifts to be used in the service of others. So use your gifts well. It has a song. Listen to it and learn it. Each of you have been blessed with one of God's many wonderful gifts to be used in the service of others. So use your gift well. Each of you have been blessed with one of God's many wonderful gifts to be used in the service of others. So use your gift well. First Peter 4 verse 10 
Now I have some declarations for you for this month. And I would like for you to go over it again and again all through this month. Let's take it together right after me. I am created by God. I am unique and wonderful. The life of God is in me. The excellence of God is in me. My mind is creative. I will put it to work. I can do great things and I will shine. Great job, Royal. Thank you so much, Royal, for staying through till the end of today's service. I hope you had a great time. Before we go, I'd like to ask you, are you watching us on YouTube? Are you following our Telegram channels? Just do just that by subscribing to our YouTube channels with the link showing on your screen and also join our Telegram channels all showing on the screen right now. And don't forget to be a part of the next excellent plan chat room by sending in your questions on all the topics we have studied or on any other questions to the numbers showing on your screen. And don't forget to download the Royal Scroll as well. All on the link on your screen right now. Have a fantastic week, child of excellence. Keep conquering your world for Jesus. <laughs>